brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. All right, what's up, Emily? How can we help? <laughs> well, um, my husband and I um, got married about uh, a year ago. I've been single for 23 years. My goals were to have my house paid off, um, debt free. I achieved that goal. Um, had money in the bank. I, um, you know, discussed um, before we got married his financial um, situations. Um, everything was brought out. He um, basically had a house. Uh, he he didn't have a house at that point, but um, he had a car payment, and he paid that off. And, and so that was about seven hundred dollars. And then he said he had was helping his um, daughter with her student loans. She's thirty six. His son is thirty three. After we were married, we f- I found out a few months later that he was in debt to his two adult children, uh, $86,000. Oh, gosh. Ruh-roh. After And then after the marriage, we got taught. Um, so that didn't go very well with me. And then I found out that he had racked up about $40,000 in credit card bills because part of the wedding, uh, we just bought a new home. Um, he's, he makes very good money. And, um, then when I heard about the $40,000, that just blew me away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, he didn't tell you about that so, when, when y'all were going through nope. the 86,000? No. What a coward. And he did and he, and he didn't tell me that he, you know, was racking up these credit cards. We went on a honeymoon. Um, he, he lost his job two weeks before our wedding. That was fine. He did put $200,000 down on a house that we did purchase. Um, in that time, we've had to move. We just sold the house, but I had I had paid cash. I I had sold my house prior to how, buying how, this other house. So how how can we help you? There's a lot going on here. Um, I know. Give me some direction here. I, how can we help? Okay, I want to know is right now uh, the credit card bills he paid off by by turning in his stocks. So now that is um, a zero balance. How do you know? So, um. You know what? I don't know. You don't know. You have a man that you share a home with that you can't trust as um, far as you can see. Mm-hmm, and he's right, so well, full of crap, right his eyes are brown, and he is just mm-hmm. running through life, mm-hmm. dragging you mm-hmm. behind him. Right. Well, well, he makes it. So he did the budget, and after we went over the budget, we had about $900 left to live on, and that's without paying our credit card bills. He makes $170,000 a year. How do you know that? Um, through his paychecks. I did look into that. I said, I need your pay, pay stubs. I want to see what's coming in. I want you to pull um, credit reports on everybody in the house tonight. Well, well, we did because we just purchased a house and his, okay. his are in the 800, 800. So okay. now that we, so we, oh, so the thing is the one, his daughter who is 36, I guess we owe about 36,000 in, in debt to her, her bills. They are in her name. He's a co-signer. His son. And what? And what? What was he using that thirty-six thousand dollars for, Emily? When he borrowed from that one daughter, like what was that for? Um, just lifestyle? It was just for, nope, nope. His for it was for his her student loans. They're for her student oh, loans. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And and then her, his son. We I found out we owe fifty-five thousand dollars on fifty-five thousand dollars student loans and student loans, and he's thirty-three and he. And, and both were communicated he, to the adult children that he would pay for them. Evidently. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. And he says um, that's true, too. The adult children say that, and he said that. Well, I'm not talking to the adult kids kids right now because I'm I'm furious. Okay. Yeah. Um, yep. and, 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 the, and, and the girl, um, she's a nanny and st- claiming that she doesn't make enough money to pay anything. So Emily, so, Emily, um, Emily, Emily, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. your rage is misguided mm-hmm. and it's not helping. Mm-hmm. No, I know. It's not helpful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not addressing the core issue, which is you married a man, and right out of the gate, he lied to you to the tune of over $100,000. Correct. On multiple occasions. That's where this mm-hmm. conversation has to begin. Right. And we'll I get, don't want to We'll get to the money like part. That, you know how you true. pay off money? He's going to have to make a whole bunch more. And you're going to have to sell mm-hmm. a bunch of stuff and cut your lifestyle. But, but yep. beneath that, you don't have a man that you trust. Mm-mm. And so you're running around mad at everybody, ra- enraged. How much are you working? What are you doing? What? Is- All of that is misplaced. All of that mm-hmm. is your body trying to cope with the fact that you are connected to somebody that you don't trust. Mm-hmm. 
Have you sat down and said, yeah. hey, you lied to me. We have to rebuild this whole oh, yeah. relationship over. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I told him that. I said, you, and, and on top of this, let me tell you one more thing. He is a game collector of board games, and he probably has close to a million dollars in board games. Well, cool. He could pay and his I'm, crap off then. Bye. Well, that's that's yeah. awesome. Right. Well, well, when I asked him, and so let me ask you this. I said, he doesn't, he doesn't want to get his kids to pay for uh, their schooling or take on responsibility for it, or he's still paying for his son's $80, $89 phone bill, to, even to this day. And I said, how about if I get divorced and I get the best lawyer and I take half of your retirement, which he has about $800,000 in, and half of your games? Well, Emily, said, but now, now you're getting in the mud with a pig. I know. Oh Don't my do God, that. I know. Mm -hmm. so be a person of dignity and respect. Stay above it. If you have decided, yeah. you know what, I can't be married to a man child like this. But until mm -hmm. then, then make your choice. But right now, you're just jumping in. You're you're cannonball into the mud I, with them. Yeah, and I, I would I, and I, I would keep saying yes. And if you want to fight for the marriage mm -hmm. I, at this point, though, financially, I would I would stay away. I would have a, a separation. I think mm -hmm. that's a very healthy boundary to have at this point. And you guys need mm -hmm. to go to marriage therapy. And all of this has to be resolved because to John's point. The trust is completely broken, not just from the money side, but in other aspects as well. And so until that, until you feel confident that you guys are working as a team, then you can move forward financially together. But I'm so to give, sorry, Emily. You need to give him a roadmap of what he can do to earn trust back. Sell yeah. games, have hard conversations with his kids, give him a path back. You need that and he needs that. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.